What's up guys, Cut Pro Taggers here. Today I'll be doing a deck performance of my friend's Paddy's Up Boss deck. So basically this is an all new cards from the Trow deck and of course some BT cards, uh, BT02. Yeah, um, he basically built his deck based on his pref uh, personal preference and fine tuning it himself. Yeah, so there's a lot of interesting options Aqua Boss can actually use nowadays. So yeah, let me go, through on, go on through the deck and explain more. First, you play one of the Chodak Sabas. Yes, you're probably wondering why you only play one. Um, it's probably because you can also, it's, it also can be searched out by um, the Stride Strip. Great one, which is this. Yeah. Basically, uh, you can just review him and review a great tree and we can search a deck for him. Call him, call him. You must call oh, you have to call him and uh, review a great tree in your hand and you can add this to your hand for free, I guess. And of course you have to discard one because otherwise it will be too OP. So yeah, play one. His ability is pretty sweet because um, Generation Break 2, when this unit attacks uh, for the fourth battle or more, it becomes a uh, Novel Vague, which uh, everyone knows Novel Vague is really OP. So yeah, he gains one crit and the opponent can uh, guard with great zeros. So yeah. Second ability is whenever you perform a um, strike. When this uh, when this unit attacks for the fourth or more battle, you can tr choose three of opponent unit and he chooses one of them to retire. It's really cool, it's something like Gauntlet Buster Dragon. Yeah, now of course it uh, focuses a lot on retiring power to uh, destroy opponent's field, which is really cool. So yeah, the next card you play is of course this Avatar. Tetra Drive Dragons. Yeah, Tetra Drive is really awesome. Until today, it's still one of the best Vanguards because it can resend itself. Yep. Um, basically, at a limit break 4, uh, when this attack is... Second battle. It attacks for second battle, gains a new effect. Then when 4 battle, when your Vanguard attacks for 4 battle, you can cover us to the resend. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, basically that. <laughs> yeah, basically it's a resending Vanguard and of course you, you pair up with his break right form. Uh, Transcore Dragon. Whenever this van when the Vanguard rides, leave it break, break right, it gains plus 10k power. And your whenever it attacks, you can your opponent have to discard one card, otherwise it's, it is unblockable and it gains one crit. So yeah, normally your opponent will have to waste one card and whenever it resends, it waste another card. This is why this uh, this break right combo is one of the best back, day, back then. And until until now it's still very viable still. Alright. Uh, he played a couple of tech uh, great trees in the deck. This one is Diamantis, a very classic um, back row rider. AKA when he attacks, he run back to the back row. Uh, give you additional attacks which you need in upper force. Yeah, and this guy is you won't be really afraid to be. You won't be too bad to draw him because you can actually uh, discard him for strike if you need to, or you can just actually just yeah search him out. So yeah, it won't be really be a dead draw. One tech is good. And Benedict, the surprisingly OP thing. Because small tire is good. Yes, because small tire assaults <laughs> are good. It's a 10k tire assault. So yeah. Also, it could also be discarded for great tree. And his ability is whenever it attacks, it might he loses 500 uh, 5k attack points to resend itself. So this is really good because uh, you can combo a lot with you have many cards I'm gonna explain later in the deck. So yeah, there's a great trees. The great tools to play four classic tidal assault. This guy is one of the best cards in Upper Force. This guy makes Upper Force, man. Without, upper, without this card... Yeah. Without this card, Upper Force is just a vanilla deck, I guess. <laughs> but this guy is really awesome, and he has a... Once per turn ability... Oh, they added the once per turn ability on him. A reprint. Uh, when this unit attacks, you can re-stand by minusing his self 5k power. Uh, however, you could combo a lot of small attacks, which means... Which actually eats up your opponent's hands up really quickly. Yeah, basic experience. If I when I fight this guy, uh, my hands just deplete until I just die. Yeah, do save your hand or you save your hand now or die later. What's that, what Leon yeah, said? Uh? Yeah, keep your hand and lose and or lose your hand and lose. Keep I your lose. hand and lose and lose your hand and lose. Yeah, that's what that's what makes this this shit, man. This this guy tricks you. This guy mind mind you. Okay, uh, no no efforts for me. Yeah, this guy is a mind f mind f. So yeah, this is the awesome brother of this. Awesome. This is the awesome brother. Basically, uh, generation break. Generation break one. When his unit is boosted, after you can actually counter plus one to re-stand him. Well, for, and he gains plus two K power, which is yeah super awesome. So boost attack, 10 K guard, re-stand. Again, a two K can solo another 11 K. Yeah. So eat that suckers. Because more tight assault is gonna kill you. 
Uh, next we have this, this which is Generation Break when um, there's a third battle or more you can soul plus one and it gains plus 10k power which is really good because uh, when you triple, ch uh, triple check your triggers you might get a lot of crits you pump to him the opponent won't be able to guard because additional 10k which means the opponent will discard two more cards lose two more cards to guard so, somehow yeah and this girl is uh, Basil basically when this unit attacks you can counter blast one and move her to the back and when it attacks against Basil, K power, so it's an 11k, then move back. Basically, it's an upgraded Basil that costs a one counter blast, which is fine actually because we have unflippers in the deck. No unflippers. Huh? No unflippers. Okay. Uh, unflippers. <laughs> All right. uh, this, don't, don't understand this guy. This guy actually wins new game sometimes. Especially when you need to tetra drive the guy. This guy saves you. Uh, great one to play 4 PGs, Justin Beavers. Don't play the new one because of Dote X. Yeah, don't play the new one Dote X. Just don't, don't actually like to eat units like these for days. Because these guys are really... Um, these guys are actually more deadly than the Vanguard sometimes. So yeah, Dote X will eat you if you don't. So perfect guard, the old style. It's, it's simple and easy. Justin Beaver. Yeah, and 4 of the... 4 of your whatever that searcher is. And uh, basically a uh, Strider cost. This card is, is this card cost as a great tree. Yeah, as a great tree, so it's very nice to play. When I play strike decks, we have to play these units. Two, uh, we was out. Counter blast one, then you can move. You can change the position of two units on the field. Uh, helps you get your fourth attack. But yeah, so it's a very good card. Two penguins because penguins allow you to plus one five k decent boost, which is uh, additional five k off your opponent's hand, and a plus one draw a card. And of course, two of these. Um, uh, when you generation generation break, uh, when this unit, you during your turn, during your turn you may you use, use this to attack, attack from, from a back row. Yeah. Yeah. So, so an awesome shit is this. Uh, attack a regard. You don't attack a regard, right? No, you must boost. Right? So you put behind a regard. Usually, okay. there, this this oh. thing usually put behind a regard. Oh, awesome, behind a regard. Okay. Uh. Okay, so basically she can attack from the back row. A 9k attacker, you can attack those burning horn dragons, which is really irritating. And it helps you uh, push you for an extra attack, which you need for your most of your units. Alright, for triggers we play. Crits. 8 crits. What's the ability of this? This for Maelstrom, it doesn't matter. Oh, when it's boost a Maelstrom, uh, your opponent can guard with great zeros. Right? Yeah, correct. Whoa, lock. Stun lock there. Yeah, sucker stun lock. Uh, four, four draws my and Margals. Oh my god, is it all effects? Uh? Yeah, oh my god, check out all the effect triggers. Awesome, and four sperm. Sperm, Right, and finally, it's the uh, bubble dragon kit. When this guy is really awesome because he helps, it's one of those starters that helps you plus instead of just giving you a neutral. Because um, whenever your attack is fourth or more, right? Yeah, fourth or more. A uh, fourth or more battle. Four, for example, let's. So basically, what we normally do is put in the saw of the Vanguard, then this attacks, the back row attacks, two attacks, Vanguard attacks, the attack, fourth attack, draw one, then uh, restand itself, and attack again, draw another one. So at the cost of one card, you get to draw two free cards. Yeah, you can't really find that any, uh, anywhere in Vanguard nowadays because it's a plus who. Yeah, it's a part of Greece, uh, sub man. Part of Greece, awesome. Right, so yeah, let's go to the strike zone. For SP. What's this guy's name called? Uh, Rambrose. Rambrose SP. Look at this glittery pattern. <coughs> uh, so basically, when this unit attacks uh, fourth or more, you can resend two of your. Um, when you. Back like fourth or more, you, more, you can reset. flip one itself. Or flip one of itself <coughs> up. And you can do, and you can resend two of your front row units. Two rear guards, doesn't matter front. Doesn't yeah, correct. Uh, two, uh, two, uh, two rear guards. Ah, two rear guards. So this one is two rear guards, and both of them gain plus 10k power if you have uh, two or more face up, right? Yeah, two, G uh, two units in your G zone face up. Mm. Really awesome. I got killed by this effect so many times because um, first side assault gains additional 10k power, which which allows to which fuels its uh, resending ability, which is awesome. With this side assault, can res attack three times, right? Yeah, you use the tire to attack the side first, side so you first. won't block the effect. Alright. Uh, then you then you can use the this effect. Oh, okay. Cool. See, uh, imagine you have um, two tire assault. So two assault is six attack. 
No, because you need to bring out your four battle, uh, so you need oh, to use one, one to proc to do to do two attacks, then the other one can attack yourself. Oh, I see, see. Still very, still very good. Uh, total, how many attack you can do in a combo? Uh? So I think seven or eight. Seven yeah. attacks a turn. Wow, it's amazing. So yeah, now you know why. It's... Like the first few ones are quite small, and the last few are quite big. Yeah, it's big because of the 10k boost. Yeah. And is there any attack that can like uh, pressure? Not really. Not really, yeah. Yeah, no. But it's still it's the attack. Crazy. I mean, the attack is, itself is a pressure, so yeah. Especially at late game, your opponent can't really crit anymore. It's actually Rex then. Like if you keep attack, put crit, then you can maybe get yeah. more, more. Imagine attacking. more crit. Uh, Red Guards attacking more crits. That's horrible, man. Like, I wouldn't want to be that. I mean, I really experienced that. I was at 5 that. Wait, he was at 5 damage, I was at 1 damage. Then he killed me in 1 turn. That's how good it is. Because I can't guard. Okay, this guy is uh, basically uh, like look like a Maelstrom Dragon because I think it's an evolved form of Maelstrom. Uh, when this unit, when this unit attack third attack or more, you you can draw one card and choose one of put. Yeah, it must hit first. Oh, when yeah. the attack hits, then you, you draw one card. Draw one, then you can superior call one from your hand. Superior call one from hand. So basically, it's uh, giving you additional attack in in a way. So you can actually call Tidal Assault out and if you are really in for the game, you can call another Tidal Assault or something and attack for more. Yeah. So it's just a, it's a, I really like this kind of new uh, so-called call you need to feel like, uh, similar to Royal Paladins. Because it actually uh, makes you makes your deck. It gives you a choice to be more aggressive if you need to go for the kill. And finally, uh, two, two uh, create elementals. <gasps> Textless. I think it's a, a movie, right? Yeah. Movie. So basically, uh, this one is... Yeah, vanilla. Watch the movie. Yeah, you just just use it for GSC. You only use it for naked IG. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one is um when counter blast one when it's in attacks, it, it gains plus five K power for each face up. Yeah. G zone. So but you need to flip one up. Oh, you have to flip one up. Yeah. Uh, flip one up, and you, this unit gains attack power equals to each face up under G zone. Yeah, that's fine. What's the highest attack you can go? Uh? You got seven. If you flip, got seven. Five K. Yeah. At max. Uh. Damn. Sorry, guys. So yeah, 35 k You see, even 35 k makes makes it so epic that it falls. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy my deck profile on on my friend's Uncle Paul's deck. Which I might come out with dual videos soon, or maybe in a week. In a week. So remember, add me on Facebook and subscribe for more. I might be doing new deck color next. So stay tuned. Peace out. Love you guys.